and we are up 3,000% on turnover to the same period as last year. Mate, you're filming me cleaning this work <laughs> surface. I've got uh, a Zoom call in five minutes and you're filming me. I'm literally leaving everything to the last moment. You're gonna put this in, aren't you? <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to make Tim look like an idiot. I'm going to make Tim look like it's so funny. People will like it, Tim. People want to see you be an idiot. No, they don't. They don't. They want to see a successful businessman, not somebody knocking over their coffee five minutes before a friggin' meeting and supposed to start filming. Hello, guys. How's it going? I don't know how much you know about me, Nigel, or, or, or know about Hagley West. Watch business. Um, that at the moment I am in the infancy of advertising. What we've seen over the last few months is that with all our sales we've become from organic reach and we haven't been running any ads, which is changing now. Uh, I still think at the moment our best interests are in uh, organic reach and um, brand awareness. Uh, so I wanted to see first of all whether or not Google is the right step for us to take because at the moment I don't know. So what I'm sort of proposing here is with Google Shopping, you have the same sort of level of targeting, so you're still, you're not casting the net completely far out. You know, you're just searching for people who are looking for watches, they don't know your brand. It's still the same audience, so it's still people who have, you know, either visited your website or came to your website via social, etc. Okay. But you're just condensing down that list even more to the ones who are then going off to search to buy and purchase a watch. Okay. Don't, don't let me! Oh, okay. I ain't been lifted. <laughs> that's why I want to lift you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's blue arse. I hate it. Right, we've got to go to the post office. Right, for this recap, I'm going to do a recap of the month, but I just think, I think I should be a little bit smarter. I'm looking a bit scruffy. Also, I think we should utilize the kitchen more. I'm building this business from the kitchen. We should utilize the kitchen more when we're putting over what we do with recaps. So I've come up with an idea for how we're going to do all these recaps. Are you ready, mate? I'm just going to go and get changed. I'll just swing a little bit smarter. See you in a sec. Hi. This is actually the shirt I wore when I filmed with Chris the Crowd Cube video in Jamaica. I'm all these things. Okay, so February is over and this is how we've done. At the beginning of the month, we set ourselves a target of 100 units and we actually achieved. This is an absolutely fantastic result. In fact, we have now sold more watches in the first two months of this year than we did for the entire 2019. I'm trying to... Uh, sorry, hi. I'm filming... Oh, come on, lunch, lunch was delicious, by the I'll way. I'll put on my... Look! I've got, I'm in my smart shirt looking. <laughs> Going up! I've got a gig straight face now, haven't I? <laughs> Obviously, that's had a massive impact on our turnover, and we are up 3,000% on turnover to the same period as last year. So, February has been a record breaking month, and we have sold into these nine territories. And the Philippines. It's our 46th country that we've now sold into. Also in March, we're gonna be seeing the implementation of the following strategies. First off, is the launch of the Canberra watch. This is a new look Canberra watch. We've changed the hands on it, so they stand out even more, and that's gonna be available at the same price, 155 pounds, on Monday, the 1st of March. And secondly, we're gonna be launching our new TikTok creative videos. We're gonna be doing brand new look videos, a lot more professional, and they're gonna be going out from this week. And last, but by no means least, we're going to be looking at all our new advertising campaigns that are going to be running on Google and also on social media. We're going to be doing a really big push into Google Shopping and also YouTube advertising. TikTok is still a massive opportunity for us, but we need to up our game. We need to make sure that our videos are better, that we can reach a bigger audience, that we get more views, and also that we can give more value to our customers. So they're going to be more professionally shot, we're going to edit them together better, we're going to be using our camera rather than the phone to record them, and hopefully we're going to grow this audience. <laughs>